Team Builder is a tool to change the look and feel of your site. It provides an easy to use ribbon with font and color codes. It shows how the colors and fonts will be applied to SharePoint. The Team Builder first release was in March 2013. Since then, it was updated numerous times with more detailed preview of web parts and lists, ribbon based controls, helpful tooltips, and so on. When I open the app, I can enter the name of my new team and choose an existing color palette. When I click on the font tab, I can for example change the page title font. I can change the font for page title, for navigation, large heading, H1. I can change the heading for H2, for web part titles, I can change the body text, and so on. All the changes I make are instantly visible on the page. Another nice feature is a helpful tooltip available for each item on the page. You just have to hover with a mouse over a document title, for example, to see what color code it uses. The top bar and suit bar tabs contain color codes for top portion of the page. I can change the background colors, font colors, hovering with mouse colors, and selected item colors. I can write the code directly into a text box or use the color picker. Color picker that you can see here is available in Chrome browser, while Internet Explorer and Firefox browsers have another color picker. The preview of color codes and fonts is important not only because you want your SharePoint site to be beautiful. The preview shows how background colors work with links, how selected items will look in a document library. You want your SharePoint site to be easy to use. You want document titles to be readable, controls to be visible. In this example, it is a selection background code that is controlling the appearance. It provides a preview of a document library with documents. It shows how a document looks like when you hover over or select it. It shows the hover panel with the controls that are part of the panel. It also provides a preview of a list with list items. The tiles you know from the team sites are also part of the preview. The background color of the tiles is the same as the background color of the tiles in site contents. Get existing color palette is a fantastic new feature that allows you to save your work and pick up where you're left afterwards. I'll just get my red color palette that I was working on the other day. All the color codes are defined. I can make changes, color of the tiles for example, and save the theme again. The Team Builder app shows you a preview of a top portion of the page, the top bar and the suit bar. It shows the search text box, it shows the main and current navigation. Furthermore, it shows how a navigation item will look like when you hover with a mouse over it. Also, it shows 
how a currently selected item or a site will look like. Team Builder has also a preview of a news feed and buttons. It also shows the lines used in forms and drop downs. Buttons when you hover or press, buttons when you write, line color when you hover or press, line color when you write. All the saved color palettes and font schemes are saved to a document library, so I can download a copy or reuse them to make another theme. The top portion of the page looks different on Office 365 than on SharePoint on-premise and by selecting the SharePoint online option I'm able to see how the colors are applied. 